Governor Eric Holcomb has made it a priority to outfit Indiana State Police with body cameras in 2021. I talked with ISP Superintendent Doug Carter and a body camera expert about why this process is more complicated than simply just adding the cameras to officers' necessary equipment. Since the death of George Floyd in May 2020, law enforcement agencies across the country have been taking a look at their policies and practices. We're really at a crossroads for policing in America, and we have this innate opportunity to make it better. Indiana State Police troopers currently don't wear body cameras while on the job. Governor Eric Holcomb made it his priority for all ISP troopers to have body cameras by spring of 2021. It's something Superintendent Doug Carter wasn't always in favor of. But what changed me was the young Indiana State troopers that are out there that say, please, please let us have this technology. Why? Because they're scared to death. Even if they do the right thing, they're going to be wrong. Superintendent Carter does think adding the body cameras could help with recruiting, especially as younger people begin applying to be police officers. They want that technology. They want to have the availability of that technology to substantiate what, they're, what they do. However, he still has his reservations about body cameras providing 100% transparency. That camera sees the front, I mean, mounted on the front of the body, human body, and it sees this much. But what if that threat comes from a place where that camera can't see? Body cameras have existed in some form since 2010. However, they weren't as high tech as they are now. By 2014, our agency in West Lafayette was the first police body camera agency in Indiana, fully deployed. That's Jason Domkowski. He's the former West Lafayette police chief and an expert on body cameras. He works for Body Worn, a company that makes high tech body cameras for police officers. The cameras are able to automatically record depending on each police agency's policies. He says good policy is important when a police agency adopts the use of body cameras. As we go down that road, uh, there's a lot more concentration on policy and on policy-based recording, having systems that can automatically record to your agency's policy is a big factor these days to make sure that you have the video when you're supposed to have the video for accountability and transparency. In the state of Indiana, video has to be stored for 190 days. No other state in the country requires that length of storage. Storing that video is expensive and a task that has taken ISP a long time to get... There are still places in Indiana that don't have a real good internet connection. We had to come up with a cloud-based storage solution. Carter hopes that by implementing the use of body cameras, the public's trust can be restored. What I don't want is for the next generation to have to say the things that I'm saying to you, and that's that I'm sorry. We own some of the discord in my profession. We own some of the distrust. Over a five-year period, uniforming all Indiana State Police troopers will cost around $10 million. No exact numbers were provided.